Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, this might be, hopefully this is the last episode in the build because we are finishing up some final touches. I'm redoing this couch thing so I have to cut it to fit out this or, uh, bed thing. I have to cut out to fit out, to fit this new cabinet in. And then I'm gonna recover it with some uh, fabric we got from Hobby Lobby. Kevin's putting in the solar panel finally. I know we promised you guys that. Here's where the charge controller lives and I am about to plug in the solar panel. Alright, so I did swap them. So this is actually positive, this is actually negative. Which one do you like to do first, Danny? I like to do positive first. Okay. And then finish the ground, finish the circuit. And then my ground, my minus. To my minus, it's confusing, but that's right. All okay, right, so we got sun. Now let me get you a reading. I'll just read it so you don't have to try to get the exposure. Okay, so we're charging. We are now getting sun, 12.6 volts. This charge controller is not the best. It doesn't tell you exactly what, uh, how many, how amps. much amps you're getting, but you're definitely getting power. So the wiring worked out. <clears throat> Danny is still working away. She's making a door here. Open it's just kind of a mock door at the moment, but it's gonna look like a barn door. You can see down there. And I'm working on the overhead shelving for up here. It's just gonna be a little small guy. So this is what I got so far for a shelf. It's just gonna kind of hang off these L brackets. I just kind of bent them and drilled a bunch of holes. So I'm painting my uh, cabinet or my little shelf and I'm using our steel wool concoction we made. It's from, it's in the first video. It's just steel wool and vinegar. It's been sitting now for about two weeks and it is so much darker than when we first applied it. I'm really liking it really giving it that old aged effect. Still working on the top shelf. I've inserted my light. I got a link for these lights in the bio. Uh, just sticks in and kind of clips in. And then I've painted. And then that'll just be held in with my L bracket. And I'll show you all that when I get in there. Here's Danny's door she's working on. She's going for a little mini barn wood door. Oh, my shadow is pretty all right, we're coming here to the end of the day. I got my ghetto L bracket shelf up. I will clean up the wiring later. I know it's my famous last words. But yeah, we put some lighting on it. There on the bottom. Looks pretty cool. Danny is working on the barn door. Show him it real quick. It'll shut better, we promise. And she even reused the little VW handle. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got all of our switches working now. This one, and this is the pump. Mm -hmm. And that's our newest addition to get our shelf. <laughs> and we are getting close. It is day 12, we know that. We might not finish. But we'll get very close by day 14. By day 14, I think you could drive this thing away if you wanted. So the barn style door, the barn style door will hold up this piece. You see a squeaky door? And then we have another piece over here that looks barn style as well. So that just sits on top of there. And creates a little L. We also got a bike rack, so it just kind of straps onto the side here and it just hangs off. And we got our roof racks and we're picking up a roof box tomorrow. And yeah, we are really excited with how this van is turning out. Here's a tour of the workshop. You know, <laughs> so have, to, dirty. You know have to have a fancy, fancy schmancy workshop to make a van, guys but you definitely helps to have one of these. Some of that. 
the pocket drill, the jack, the Craig. Yeah, maybe we should do a video where we like show all the tools that you need to have to build a basic van. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let yeah, us know in the comments. Let us know. So right now I'm using a bread knife to cut this cushion that's gonna go in the back. Um, I've measured it out. The measurements are on my phone, but next time you see this, it'll be covered. Hopefully, my mom's 1970s sewing machine, which always kicks butt, kicks butt this time. It's pretty thick. It's like outdoor fabric, so it should last. All right, so we got our luggage uh, holder on the van. It looks really nice. We're gonna get maximum space out of this rack and we're gonna put our solar panel <coughs> up here. Probably too dark to see on top of the roof. I am going to drill the six holes from the grommets and then we're gonna attach it on there. Kind of similar to S. Don, so we helped him with this solar. It's gonna be on this box yeah. so that we can angle it at the sun. Okay, Danny's putting down some 3M uh, 4950. 4950 double sided tape. We'll start with that just as a precautionary method. Yeah. We got some adhesive on there just to kind of hold it in place while we uh, drill the thing on, and I'm just using a drill. And I got some bolts and washers we'll attach it with. We got our solar panel onto the roof box and onto the van. You can see we just used the six bolts. It was really easy. And then we just used that tape. We just put it back up. Danny's still never ending stenciling. Last one. <laughs> we should have a count of how many stencils we made. Last one. And then you can see here the solar just comes out from this side. And we just have it run up. We will get that more managed soon and we will be done soon. Danny's doing that and I'm going to do some trim and then all we really have to do is the window and we're done. Putting some of those final touches on, getting the window to look a little bit nicer. We added some trim here all along that under piece and we added uh, these door, the door, the little uh, towel holder. Um, kind of finished this guy up today. We covered all the backs up. We also cleaned up this trim here. You can see the uh, Van Kook sticker. We got all kinds of stickers on our website now. So if anyone wants to support the Kooks, I know some people out there have already, and we really thank you for that. But there's a link in the bio. Here's one of many stickers that Danny designs. Yeah, if you want one of your own, hit me up. Like if you want me to draw one of your own, hit me up. Yeah, I'll draw your rig, your dog. Danny did the cushion. So that looks great. And we'll keep going and we're working on this window. All right, that is basically a wrap to day 14, which would be our last day. Uh, we just about finished. We realized we forgot to do the sliding door and some other things. Yeah, the sliding door is But for the most part, for 14 days of work on a build, it looks amazing. I'll show you kind of a quick little tour. So we did all the cabinets, everything in the last few days. This has been on for a few days, so we'll have basically the pullout. That's our fridge, the grills under here, the sink. We added this little shelf, and there's storage under the seat. And Danny did the bed. I'll show you how the bed flips down. Danny did this cushion uh, last night, as we showed you. And it looks nice. It's like we just randomly got it because it was the coolest one on sale. And it really goes nice with the thing. We added the trim. Um, Danny added rubber and all these. Everything has rubber now, these shelves. We got our epic little barn door. I know it's dark back here. It's 
what happens when you burn the midnight oil. And then we got our extension. Grill, foam, you're cooking. You got all your switches right here. It's the good life. May you turn that one back on? So, coming for sale, coming near you. See you guys out in the desert. And always like and subscribe to the Van Kooks. Check out our stickers online, www.vankooks.com. And we will be next having the van tour.